hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement google map in a flutter project along with google map i will show you how we can implement custom icon for map marker along with the info window and how we can change the style of google map so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial So this is our default flutter app over here i will make some changes so first i am going to create a stateless widget and i will name it as home page and here i will return a scaffold for this app bar title i will provide home screen and for the body i will return this so i am copying it and paste it here and i will not display this counter for text style i will provide 24 pixel font size and for font weight i will use font weight dot bold and i will display this home page widget as our screen so i will delete this previous screen so this is how our app screen looks right now and for this floating button i will use this icon and for the color i will use indigo and after clicking on this floating action button i will redirect to another screen and on that screen i will create the google map so for that first let me create a screen so i will create screens directory and over here i will create this google map screen dot dot file and here i will create a stateful widget and it will be google map screen and we need to import material dot and similarly here we need to provide a scaffold and for the app bar title i will provide google map and for the body of it currently i am providing this text now here we will provide a navigator and we will redirect to google map screen now save it now let's see so we are redirecting to google map and here we will add the google map to add the google map now we need to install this google map flutter package and to install it first we need to set this dependency to our pubspec.yml file so here in the dependency i have added it and this package is getting installed so it has been installed now we can start using it but before using it we have to configure few things so here we can see we have the android and ios guide for android we need to add this one and here we can specify our api key and to get the api key we need to go to the google developer console and create a project if you don't have a project already when you have a project then within this credentials menu you will get api key or if you don't have any api key then you can create a credentials by clicking on this create credentials button and here you can see the api key option after clicking on it you will prompt with a screen similar to this and here you will see the api key at the right side of the screen and here you can do some configuration so you can restrict the key and here i have already restricted the key for maps sdk for android and for ios okay so you can do that and then you can save it so as i have already done it so i'm not creating it so we can copy the api key and then we can add it to our android manifest.xml file so let me add it first for android so here in android manifest after this application you should add this code and over here i will paste my api key you should use your own and after adding that now we will add the credentials for ios and for ios we can see that we can add it to appdelegate.m file or appdelegate.swift file whatever you have you can add these credentials so let's see here i have this appdelegate.swift file so for swift i can see i need to add this import and then i need to add this line 
so after this bool i have added this line and now here i will paste my api key so i have added credentials for both the platform now i can start using it now to use it i can remove this from body and then i can use this google map and here we can see for google map we need to provide initial camera position and initial camera position is a type of camera position so we need to add camera position and in camera position we can see that we need to provide a target and this target contains latitude longitude value so i'm providing this latitude longitude value and along with this target we need to add a zoom value and for zoom i have provided this 15 now save it now after saving it it will not display because we need to rebuild our project and that is because we have added some configuration for both the platforms so i will stop this and rebuild our project okay so our project has been built successfully now go to our google map screen and here we can see our google map is present so it is pretty simple to get started with the google map now we will start customizing it now i will create markers so for that i will create a set and this set will be set of markers and initially it will be empty and in this google map we have this on map created attribute and for this on map created i can create another function called on map created and that function will run for this on map created attribute and for on map created we need to have a controller and that controller will be type of this google map controller and this controller this marker is already defined in our google maps flutter package which we need to import to use the google map now here we will set the state and within this set state we will add markers to our set of markers so the marker will be type of marker and here we need to provide a marker id and the marker id will be an unique id for every marker so as of now i am providing id 1 so it could be any string but it should be unique for every marker now after this marker id we need to provide position and the position will be the latitude longitude value of the marker position so i can copy this latitude longitude value and use it here now i can use this function for this on map created now after saving it let's do a hot reload so nothing has been changed yet because we haven't used the marker so after this on map created we can use markers and here we can specify our markers which we have added within this on map created function right so now save it after saving it we can see our marker has been present over here now for this marker we can provide an info window so this info window will be type of info window so let's add it and for this info window we can provide a title and then we can add a snippet of it which will be the description of the info window now after saving it we need to do a hot reload and then we can see that our info window is working perfectly so that's how we can create map marker and add an info window now we want to customize this map marker we want to use our custom icon and for that we have added an icon over here this is our custom icon which i'm going to use for our marker so for that here we have this icon property with this icon property we can customize our icon and we can see this is the bitmap descriptor type and this can be done with an asynchronous function so here i will create this function and here i will create the map marker and this map marker will be bitmap descriptor type so i have initialized it and let's use it over here so it is the bitmap descriptor and i will use asset image so it will be from asset image to use it we need to provide some configuration and then the asset name and for this configuration we don't need to provide anything except this image configuration and for the asset here we can provide the path of our asset so it is assets then our file name which is 
destination map marker dot png now we can see that this is the future type so for this we need to use async await so for this function i will add async and before this bitmap descriptor i will use this await keyword now the error has been gone now we can use this map marker for this icon and after using it over here to make it work we need to call this function in our init state within this init state we will call this set custom marker now save this and reload our app now after reloading the app here we can see our custom map marker is showing perfectly and our info window is also working for it right so that's how we can customize our map marker and while adding the asset remember to add the asset in our pubspec.yml file and after adding the asset make sure you rebuild the app then only the assets will work now we have almost done with this tutorial finally we want to customize the style of the google map and to change that we need to go to this website and here we can see there are different kinds of layout present right so i will use the silver one so after selecting the silver one click on this finish and then we will prompt with this window here we can see we have this json code so i need to copy it and then i can use it for our map so first let me create a utils class and here i will add the style and to add this style remember to add three single quotations i don't know why it is so but i have seen that one single quotation is not working it is showing some error so we need to use three quotations and then i will add these styles and now we can use this style for our google map and we can use it from this on map created function so we have this controller and with this controller we can set map style and here we can provide map style now save it now reload once and now we can see that our map style has been updated right so that's how we can customize our map style we can use custom icon for our map marker and this is our default info window in my next tutorial i will show you how we can customize this info window to provide a better look to it so if you are interested to seeing that then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post that video so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye